The VolQuest Two Minute Drill is brought to you by Craven Wings. With Rob Lewis, Brent Hubs, VolQuest.com, the Full Court Press, presented by our good friends at Craven Wings. And Rob, Tennessee, a winner over Arkansas by a score of 75 to 57. Lots of good numbers for Tennessee, but that's not the story of the night. The story, the injury to point guard Zakai Ziegler. How does that change the complexion of this basketball team? I mean, I, I don't want to speculate too much, Robert, because we don't know what it is. I mean, but if it's serious, I mean, it changes everything for this team. I mean, one of the big oldest cliches in college basketball is that, you know, March is all about good guard play. And I mean, I know, you know, Tennessee overcame it tonight, but I, and again, I don't want to push the panda button because I don't know, but if, I mean, we'd be remiss not to talk about it. I mean, it's the elf in the room. If, I mean, if the kid's out and, and teams are able to game plan for Tennessee, it was a Kai being out. I think that that changes the outlook in March dramatically and not in a good way for the Vols. Yeah, certainly. I mean, a key to what Tennessee does, and as you mentioned, game planning without him. Let's get to this game first. We'll get back to that in a minute, but let's get to this win first. Tennessee shoots 50% from the field. They only turn it over 10 times. Arkansas, 37% from the field, 16 turnovers. Tennessee's defense, Rob, was stifling. It's been good all year. But that looked more like what Tennessee's defense had done in December and early January against an Arkansas team that has shown the ability to get it to the rim regularly. Yeah, I just really cut them off. And I, I was impressed over because, you know, usually he's the guy the tip of that spear. And, and even with him out tonight, without, you know, without the ball pressure that he routinely provides, there, there wasn't a drop off on that end of the court. It, and until, you know, Devo Dave, Davis hit that little jumper with 16 seconds left, that was. Arkansas was 16 seconds away from that being their season low in, in points. Prior, it had been 56 at, at Auburn. They were sitting on 55 until they got, got just a meaningless jumper in, in the final seconds. So I was really impressed. And you, you just mentioned, you know, they can get to the rim. And a lot of times when they get to the rim, they set other people up. Arkansas had only seven assists tonight. So not only did Tennessee cut down on penetration, they did it without helping off guys a, a ton and leaving, you know, easy opportunities for Arkansas to find right near the basket. Yeah, Tennessee shoots 50% because they had 18 assists. The bigger stat for me, Tennessee with 11 steals tonight, Meshack with four, just really good on the defensive end. The other story for Tennessee to me, Rob, is the front, the play of the front court, uh, of where Tennessee's at in the front court. 16 of 25 from the field, 35 points. When you look at what uh, Olivier got, 16 and 7, Awanka 7 and 8, Euros was 2 of 2. Um, and, and Adu had, had eight points and three rebounds in the game. The offensive output of this front court, two games in a row now that's been pretty good. Is, is this a development that this front court's getting better? Tennessee's finding them better. What are you seeing out of the front court for Tennessee? Oh, I think it's definitely them getting better, and it's specifically Adu and, and Awaka getting better. And tonight, Jonas, I thought Jonas took one. I think it was a bad shot. He took one shot that Rick probably w wishes he wouldn't have taken, that little short quarter you know, 12, 14 foot jumper. I know I, I've seen him make that shot a thousand times in practice. I know he can make it. I don't know if I've seen him make it in a game all, all year long. But other than that, you know, I mean, he, he he got easy buckets for dunks. He got putbacks. Olivier was super efficient. And Tobey just, the next time I see Tobey to like do something outside of his comfort zone or try to do something that, you know, they don't want him to do, it'll probably be the first time. I mean, he played 14 minutes tonight and grabbed eight rebounds. I mean, get out of here. Yeah, cra crazy numbers. Interesting rotation in the second half for me, particularly when Tennessee got the lead. Didn't go back to Tobey but very much down the stretch there. Were you surprised, bigger for me, were you surprised that B.J. Edwards, with the unknowns of Zakai Ziegler in a game where Tennessee's got control at home, did not get some significant minutes to try to develop some depth there for Tennessee? I was surprised, Hubbard. I would have to say – I. You know, we'll ask Rick about it. Rick's doing his post game show right now. We'll ask him about it in in his conference. But I am guessing that's just because DJ spent most of this week running the scout team. Not sure how much he, time he spent, you know, with the quote unquote orange team. I would be willing to, to wager that that he'll be assuming that if if Sakai can't play Saturday, I, I'm betting that BJ gets double digit minutes at at the point. I think if if, if it's a situation where they're game planning to be without Sakai, I'll be. 
I'll be really surprised if BJ doesn't play. And maybe I'm not saying 20 minutes, but you know, if he didn't doesn't get a couple of rotations per half. Yeah, I would think he would have to play there some just for just for the creation of some depth. If you have a foul trouble or anything like that in the backcourt, I mean, you're asking Santi to to run the show for 40 minutes. He was terrific tonight again. I mean. 14.6 rebounds, five assists in his final game in Knoxville. As we put a bow tie on this, wrap up the seniors' career on their final night tonight. Man, happy for Olivier that, that he went out with a good game because I know, I mean, I know he's up and down and all over the place, but he's a guy that he really cares. I mean, if you were to ask his head coach, like, what's the first thing you think about with Olivier? And it's like, he really cares. It, it matters to him. He works hard. If we tell him something, you can you can bet he's gonna you know he, he's gonna take that to the practice court and work at it. Josiah, I'm I'm glad he got to finish you know on something of a high note after the way that the senior season has been for him, going all the way back to October. You know, I not knowing when he was going to be able to get in, playing some, you know, then missing four games, then you know he finally gets over the the knee thing that's been bothering him, he sprains an ankle that cost him another four games. So to see him go out with a win like you know Tennessee had to have this win to see him in double digits, really happy for him. And Santiago, I mean I know people. I, I know fans, you know, like him, think he's a good player. I'm not sure if he's appreciated enough. I mean, you just mentioned it, six rebounds. I don't know if there's been, ever been a better 6-2 rebounding guard that's played for, for Tennessee. Uh, you know, people will think of him first and foremost as a shooter, and I don't blame him. I mean, other than Chris Lofton, he's the most prolific three-point shooter Tennessee's had. But, but man, the guy could do it all, and, and to me, was just tough as nails um, the whole way through. So, Really, really happy for all those guys. And Euros, you know, Euros just played six minutes, but you talk about a kid that's a great teammate. I mean, I, I can, I, I can, I would bet you a lot of money he's not in the locker room tonight griping about playing six minutes. He's in the locker room celebrating because him and his teammates won this game tonight, and they're they're circling the wagons and and trying to go get another one at Auburn. Yep, Tennessee with a much-needed win to stay in the hunt for that double buy in the SEC tournament, help their NCAA tournament seating as well. The friendly confines of Thompson Bowling Arena, good to Tennessee again as they beat Arkansas by a score of 75-57. to Full coverage coming up at VolQuest.com, and that's going to do it for this edition of the Full Court Press, presented by our good friends at Craven Wings. When you're Craven Wings, it's got to be Craven Wings. Online at CravenWings.com.